This is CNN Breaking News. All right, breaking news here on CNN. I can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, the beloved, beloved actress Mary Tyler Moore has just died. She was uh, 80 years of age. We're just getting a statement from her longtime rep. Let me just read this for you as we're all taking this news in. Uh, quote, today, beloved icon Mary Tyler Moore passed away at the age of 80 in the company of friends and her loving husband of over 33 years, Dr. S. Robert Levine, a groundbreaking actress, producer and passionate advocate for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, Mary will be remembered as a fearless visionary who turned the world world on uh, with her smile. Uh, of course, we know her for, you know, the Mary Tyler, Tyler Moore show and how it famously ended that that finale when the lights just went dark. Uh, you know, she was on Dick Van Dyke. She was uh, she had an Academy Award nomination for for Best Actress in Ordinary People. That film was uh, back in 1980 thoroughly modern Millie, Mary Tyler Moore. Um, she actually began her career. Brian Stelter, I'm just going to bring you in as this is just being handed to me. She was, she's from Brooklyn, started her career as a dancer. Didn't know that before she went on, of course, to just becoming this legendary actress. First in television commercials, then, of course, onto, uh, onto the, the, you know, one of the biggest shows in television history. Mary Tyler Moore, the show, of course, 1970 through the end, almost the end of the 1970s. This show was on for seven years, uh, really changed television, Brooke. And because that's in the newsroom. That's right. And it featured, for one of the first times on television, uh, a not married, a career woman uh, on Say her it ain't own. So. That's right. And at the time, that was. A big deal yeah. on television. Yeah. Uh, the whole country loved Mary Tyler Moore, uh, partly for that series, but also for the Dick Van Dyke show and for the films you mentioned. You know, she had been working up until a few years ago. Uh, she had been in an episode of Hot in Cleveland, that TV land sitcom, just a few years ago. Uh, she'd been in a film as recently as 2009, uh, but had been taking it easy in recent years. Uh, of course, it was only earlier today that it was reported that she was in grave condition. Just a few hours ago, we learned she had been ill. Here's a look back at her life. Who can turn the world on with her smile? Mary Tyler Moore, the name just rolled off the tongue, and it was inextricably connected with TV. For much of the 1970s, the country spent Saturday night tuned in to the Mary Tyler Moore Show, watching America's sweetheart Mary and the WJM gang in a fictional Minneapolis TV newsroom. I mean, I am the associate producer on the show. It was Moore's career-defining role, and for a generation, the show symbolized a cultural shift, an unmarried, 30-ish woman in the workplace. She was born December 29, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York. Her family moved to California when she was eight, and she was still in her teens when she landed her first showbiz break in Hot Point commercials that ran during the Ozzy and Harriet show in 1955. Not long out of Catholic high school, she married and had a son. But Mary wasn't planning to be a stay-at-home mom. The Dick Van Dyke Show. In 1961, she landed her first starring role with The Dick Van Dyke Show, cast opposite Dick Van Dyke. Mary played Laura, wife of comedy writer Rob Petrie. Laura dressed in capri pants in a time when TV housewives sported skirts and aprons. The show ran five seasons and made Mary Tyler Moore a household name. As her career took off, her first marriage to Richard Meeker crumbled. They divorced in 1961. A year later, she married television executive Grant Tinker. The pair created MTM Enterprises with its Kit Meow stamp, produced several successful TV shows, Hill Street Blues, The Bob Newhart Show, Rhoda, and most notably, You've got spunk. The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Seven seasons, 29 Emmys, and three Golden Globes later, the show ended, and Moore found it difficult to shed Mary Richards from her image. So the TV comedian turned to Broadway, earning a Tony Award for Whose Life Is It Anyway? She also shined on the big screen. It's starting all over again. In 1980, Moore gave an Oscar-nominated performance in the motion picture Ordinary People, which depicted a family dealing with tragedy. Tragedy struck Moore's family the same year when her only son, Richie, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It was later ruled accidental. The following year, Grant Tinker and Moore ended their 19-year marriage. However, she found love again with third husband, Dr. Robert Levine. With her new spouse at her side, Moore came clean about her decades-long battle with alcoholism. 
In 1984, she checked herself into the Betty Ford Clinic. A type 1 diabetic, Moore devoted much of her later years to advocacy. She became international chairman of the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and campaigned for embryonic stem cell research and animal rights. In 2009, she released her memoir, Growing Up Again, Life, Loves, and Oh Yeah, Diabetes. The TV icon continued to act by making guest star appearances on various network shows. In 2011, she underwent surgery to remove a benign tumor from her brain, but recovered. The seven-time Emmy winner carved out her place in television history by being a pioneer who opened doors for women. Even though life wasn't always perfect, Mary Tyler Moore really did make it after all. All right, I have Larry King, the legendary Larry King, who has called in. Um, Larry King, it's nice to talk to you, though I hate the circumstances. How many times? How many times did you interview her? Oh, quite a few. I can't even remember. I had her on radio, on CNN. She was, she was a delight. There was no one. There was only one Mary Tyler Moore. The shots you have of her now on screen—that's that lovely smile, delightful personality brilliant comedian, a terrific actress, and her devotion to, to diabetes. I served on the board of the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation because she made me serve on the board. <laughs> and we had many delightful times together, but she, she, one of a kind. Tell me more about her just, you know, when the cameras were rolling. I, mean, I know she, she ended, she's from Brooklyn and was, started her career as a dancer and then went on to be this legend and she even, I know, produced and, and directed, but what made her tick? Well, she was uh, discovered by Gary Moore, who was a wonderful, unfortunately, Gary Moore has been forgotten, but he was a wonderful host. And uh, he would put her on in sketches, and she was a great sketch comic. She understood a uh, sense of humor. She had a great sense of it. Of course, her show was historic, one of the best sitcoms ever. She started first with Dick Van Dyke. Uh, you see the picture up there with Dick. They were occasional lovers uh, through the years. They both admitted that on our show. Uh, and that was a great show. And then she went on, of course, to the, his, I think the Mary Tyler Moore show will go down as one of the 10 great sitcoms in American history. Uh, the characters on it were never to be forgotten. The newsman, Ed Asner, was the head of the department. The crazy people at the network. Betty White was incredible. I think you ought to call Betty. Betty turned 95 the other day, and she'd be wonderful to talk about Mary, especially about working with her. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's just no one. It's so sad. 2016, we lost so many people, and now 2017 to begin with this. Uh, I know. It's just really sad. I know. Yeah, these are irreplaceable people. Well, you know, and I, I realize, you know, I wasn't young when the Mary Tyler Moore show was on, but I, I know as a journalist all, all about it. And, you know, we talk so much about shattering the glass ceiling, but that was exactly what she did and, and what her, her role is that, you know, producer in that newsroom did. Did she talk about what that meant for her and for women at the time? Oh, sure. It was, she was a, she, the Carol Burnett's and others, they were the forerunners of, what is close to women still don't have equality. They still are not paid as much as men for doing the same job. But she was a, she broke ground. She forged through, she was herself. Uh, she, you know, she was a, you have to call her one of the pioneers of uh, American television and an underrated actress. Uh, she played a part, I ended, who's the, I'm trying to remember the name of the woman convicted of murder, her and her son, the woman and her son, were both convicted of murder. They're serving life sentences in Los Angeles. And I interviewed them when they were at Rikers Island, the mother and the son, and she called me because she played her, the woman, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the woman, but That's she okay. did a television special about that woman. I believe she won an Emmy for it. You know, let me, let me just toss Larry, hang with me, because it's that famous scene, right, when she tosses the, the cap up in the air and that, that sound, that song. Let's, let's just remember that the show opened from Mary, Mary Tyler Moore. 